My question is that we wear abayas and it covers our entire body from shoulder to feet. Can we put colorful scarf on it? And if we put scarf and lower it to the chest, though it's covered by abaya, can we put it on shoulder as it's already covered by abaya? And can we take the scarf that are printed and can we take it in a stylish or maybe decent way? What the sister has posed the question on the WhatsApp is that, that she says that they wear abaya and on top of that we wear a scarf. So can the scarf, since the abaya is covering the chest, is it possible that we can not put the scarf on the chest and only put it on the shoulder? Can we make stylish? Can we make colorful? Can we make printed? There are two verses dealing with your question mentioned in the Quran. Allah says in the glorious Quran, in Surah Azab, chapter number 33, verse number 59, O Prophet, tell your wives, your daughters, and the believing women that when they go abroad, they should put on the cloak. The Arabic word is jilbab. Jilbab yunna. Jilbab means an outer covering that comes, starts from the shoulder to right to the, to the feet or may start from the head to the feet, this is a jilbab and outer coat. This is the requirement that women, whenever they go out, they should, they should cover, they should wear an abaya. The second verse of the Lord's Quran is Surah Nur, chapter number 24, verse number 31, which says, say to the blind woman that she should lower a gaze and guard a modesty and display not a beauty except what appears ordinary of and draw her head covering her veil over her bosoms. So the first part of the verse Surah Azab chapter 33 verse number 59 talks about the jilba which the Abaya are talking about. Surah Nur chapter 24 verse number 31 talks about the head covering, the veil, the Arabic word is khimar, the scarf which you say in our language. It says they should draw the head covering, draw the khimar over the bosom. So the requirement here is that though you are wearing a jilbab or a abaya, the head covering should fall over the bosom. This is the requirement. Even though your jilbab is loose, the requirement the Quran says should be over your bosom. There are basically six criteria for hijab. The first criteria is the extent for the woman, the complete which is mentioned in the Quran and the Hadith. And I, and I give the two Quranic verses, the remaining is in the Hadith. The first criteria is, is the extent, that for the woman the complete body should be covered. The only part that can be seen are the face and the hands up to the wrist. Some scholars say that even the face should be covered, the difference of opinion. For the man, it's from the navel to the knee. So the extent differs between the man and the woman. The remaining five criteria are the same for the man and the woman. The second criteria is that the clothes they wear it should not be tight fitting so that the figure is revealed. The third, it should, not be, it should not be transparent or translucent so that you can see through. Number four, it should not resemble that of the opposite sex. Number five, it should not be so glamorous so that it attracts the opposite sex. And number six, it should not be a sign of the other religion. That you cannot wear a cross, which is a sign of Christianity, can't wear a vermilion, a tikka, which is a sign of Hinduism. So these are the basic six criteria. In the six criteria, I mentioned the two verses of the Quran, and your question was that the first question was that if you are wearing a abaya which covers the chest, is it required that the scarf should be on the text? That the scarf should be on the chest. The Quran is very clear cut in Surah Nur, chapter 24, verse number 31. Surah Adab, chapter 33, verse 59, says that abaya is a must, the word is jilbab. Surah Nur chapter 24 verse 31 says, Say to the believing woman that she should lower again and guard her modesty and display not her beauty except what appears ordinary of and draw her head covering, her veil over the bosom. That means it should go on the bosom. Why? Today, scientific research says the, the part of the body which sexually attracts a male maximum, it is the female's breast. There are surveys done that sexually attraction, face is beauty, but sexually attraction according to survey, the maximum percentage goes 
to the breast. The men that are maxi maximum sexually aroused is by the breast. I think it's about 65 or 68 percent. There are different surveys are there. All of them say between 60 and 70 percent. They are mainly attracted by the breast. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, our creator, knows this. That's the reason he said, besides the jilbab, the abaya, your head covering should be on the bosom also, the chest. The reason is that even if you are wearing an abaya which is loose, it should be loose sitting one of the criteria. But if you have a scarf, then all the more reason that gets completely covered. Because if you don't have a scarf covering and if maybe uh, the woman is very healthy and she's and 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 a uh, chest is very prominent, bosom is prominent, so the abaya, even if it's loose, will yet you can see the shape. That's the reason Allah says in the Quran that you should put your scarf on the chest. That's the reason the Islamic way of wearing the scarf is after going on that, it should go on the shoulder, it should go on the breast, it should cover the breast. After covering the breast, if it goes on the shoulder, no problem because the way you drape it, if it's a very long scarf, it can come over head, go on your breast and then go on your shoulder, no problem. But it should cover your head, the hair should not be seen, only part is the face and after that it should go on the bosom, these are the two requirements for covering of the head covering, of the scarf. After that, if you want to put it on the shoulder, you want to pin it up, the way you want, it looks good, no problem. The first question. Second question, can you wear colorful? No problem, as long as it is not too fluorescent. As I said, one of the criteria, it should not attract the opposite sex. It should not be too glittery. It should not be too shiny, so that the moment you walk, it keeps on shining. So as long as it's not shiny or glittery or unnecessary, attracting the opposite sex, you can wear any color, no problem. You can wear black, white, blue, brown, no problem. Can you wear printed? No problem, as long as it's within the purview of the Islamic Sharia. It should not have print of human beings or animals, etc. Otherwise, it's a batik print and if it's not too attractive and not too glittery, it's permitted. But it should cover the bosom. It can be any color. It can have a print. No problem. Can go on the shoulder. Can look stylish. As long as it doesn't break any of the ruling of the Sharia. It doesn't break the ruling of the hijab. And it should not attract the opposite sex unnecessary. Hope that answers the question.